you don't reform the officers, you reform the protocols. You fire the officers, and then you bring new officers in under the new protocols to be trained under the new protocols. We're done with this. Oh, just reform the police. No, 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 no. Fire the police. So, Texas. That's pretty much all I have to do to begin any topic, right? I just have to say the words Texas, and you already know that we've got some weird shit we're going to have to cover. But in Texas, there was a trans woman who was arrested basically for being trans? Let's go ahead and get into that. But first, let's get into the fan art section so there's at least a little bit of positive before we get into the negative. Harley Quinn says, those are all so cool. I did this one when watching the Matt Walsh video Sarah's posted yesterday after I got home from work. My phone is broken, so it was a little hard to do, but hope y'all like it. Aw. Looks very much like it was done with chalk. I like it. The next one we have here is from Brennan, not the one who appeared on Magic the Gathering Night. Here you go, babes. I enjoy your content at work, and I like to see others put their artwork up. Saw a pic from Senko-san and basically just made it you instead and i like it enjoy also war words you dj i like i like vks sir is popping up he's nice as always everyone let me know what you think about the fan art the fan art section below i mean in the in the comment section below but more importantly, thank you all for the fan art submissions. If you want the fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it in the fan art section of the Discord. With that all said, if you haven't hit the like button already or subscribed already, please consider doing so. And with that, we have a whole ass article to get into. On October 16th, Joan uh, Simon Shelley, an intersex two-spirit transgender woman, was arrested on her own property in Bexar County near San Antonio. The officer told Simon Shelley that she was arrested for making a false police report and for being a man in a dress. If 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 you are if you are literally arrested for just wearing clothes, because that's what this is. It's it is being arrested for wearing clothes. What the fuck, Texas? Can you can you maybe operate somewhere outside of the early 1800s? Maybe? After being booked into the Bexar County Jail, police placed Simon Shelley with the male population, even though her driver's license identified her as a female. She was subjected to ridicule, transphobic hate speech, and physical pain by the Bexar County Sheriff's Office, and then was forced to appear in court. The local community has rallied to her defense. On the day of her arrest, Simon Shelley alleges she was exiting her property, taking photos for real estate purposes. And according to Simon Shelley, her nephew, who lived nearby, surprised her while she was in her car. Her nephew began shouting transphobic slurs. And while Simon Shelley remained in her vehicle, the nephew's frustrations began to grow, and he then punched her car window. And, and and she was the one arrested? What? The fuck? What? Samichelli and her nephew both contacted law enforcement about the incident. When officers responded, the nephew outed Joan Samichelli as a trans woman. Samichelli was then arrested for making a false report. What? If her and her nephew both contacted law enforcement about the incident, how was she the one making a false report? What? Simoncelli's case is typical of the double standards and harassment that trans, non-binary, and intersex people experience daily under capitalism. She did everything she was supposed to do in the eyes of the law, undertaking the lengthy and grueling process of changing all her legal documents, driver's license, marriage license, even baptismal information, to reflect her lived gender. When she was attacked, she again did what people are told is the correct thing to do, call emergency services. Instead, this just led to further discrimination and even criminal charges against her. The assault, arrest, and legal nightmare that she has endured shows that the police and legal systems of the United States are designed to discriminate against trans, non-binary, and intersex people. Simoncelli is now facing the injustices of the legal system's bureaucracy. Her court case was originally scheduled for December 7th, 
the Party for Socialism and Liberation, Black Freedom Factory, and Act for SA, organized a rally at the Bexar County Courthouse to defend her and protest the racist, transphobic justice system. Simon Shelley's court case has been moved several times, then moved to Zoom, and has now been rescheduled for next month. Activists are demanding that Bexar County drop the charges and dismiss the case and that the deputy who arrested Simon Shelley, as well as the jail staff who subjected her to ridicule and placed her with the male population, should be held accountable for their actions. Anything else will be a grave injustice to Simon Shelley and LGBTQ people everywhere. So what we need to do whenever we look at a situation like this is we need to go ahead and make sure that we are doing our due diligence. So let's go ahead and look up her name and find out what other information we can find about this particular situation. So far, everything seems pretty cut and dry. But still, here's one from another news organization. Community groups condemn alleged mistreatment of trans women. A complaint has been filed against the Bexar County Sheriff's Office after a trans woman alleges she was abused by inmates and mistreated by deputies. She is filing a, compl a complaint alleging she was placed in the male block of the following of the jail following her arrest. Community activists say she, a trans woman in her 60s was abused and harassed by Bexar County Sheriff deputies and inmates within the jail. This woman's in her fucking 60s? She is elderly as fuck. And yet this shit is happening. What the fuck? Is that it's emotionally traumatizing to go through the criminal justice system when you haven't done anything wrong said uh, Simon Shelley's attorney. Simon Shelley is an active member of the LGBTQ community, previously performing stand-up comedy. She also did work with the Tejano uh, Democrats, according to Wilson. Her attorney states that she was put in the male block of the jail, which caused a lot of emotional and mental trauma. It's also causing community groups to speak out against the alleged mistreatment. It all began after deputies were called to her home at East Bexar in mid-October. Let's see what other information we can get from this version of the article. On October 16th, she called the sheriff's office claiming her nephew was threatening her. The two share the same private dirt road, and they don't get along. According to a police report, she told deputies that the nephew approached the car, started banging on the passenger side window. Joan took pictures of her nephew standing outside the car. She then reported the deputies that she was being threatened, and he said, I'm going to kill you. You... F slur, J slur? What's the J slur here? At the same time, Juan also called the police to file a report. Juan showed a video of confrontation where deputies say Joan slowly... It shows Joan slowly creep in front of Juan's home. The video deputies say shows John make a normal knock... Uh, Juan make a normal knock on the window. Deputies claim no threat of violence was made against Joanne... And the report said she lied to the deputies to get Juan arrested. Simon Shelley was arrested for making a false police report. Basically, the sheriff took the side of the complainant. The deputies put an intersex woman in a male cell and continued to further abuse by calling her derogatory homophobic names. Other community groups, including the Party of Socialism and Liberation, are demanding the charge be dropped and want BCSO to take sensitivity training to better handle these cases. Sensitivity training only goes so far. I think in some cases people just need to be fired. I'm, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm done with this shit. I'm done with this shit. I'm done with saying that, oh, we just need to retrain the police officer. No, 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 no. Fire. Not retrain. Fire. I, I'm, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. I'm absolutely done. You can retrain and retrain and retrain and retrain all you want, but no, when 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 this is happening, take the people who are doing the thing, who are calling an inmate derogatory homophobic names, take them and just go, hey, guess what? Go find a different job. Go find a different job. Go elsewhere. And then we need to do, you know, as we've said in several videos before, if a police officer is fired from one precinct, they need to not be allowed to go to just another precinct. They need to just not be working in those public service areas at all. We should hold police officers to such a high degree of standards that when shit like this happens, there are very few chances to offend again. Anubian, thank you for gifting out two community subs. Like, these are supposed to be our public servants, and yet this is the type of shit that happens. 
within the city of San Antonio for people that are like herself. Robert Wilson is the attorney and friend of Joan Simoncelli. The longtime friends have been dealing with an ordeal for the last two months. It's emotionally uh, damaging tr and traumatizing to go through the criminal justice system when you haven't done anything. On October 16th, the sheriff's office was called to Simoncelli's property in shirts. Attorneys allege her nephew was threatening her. The attorney says the nephew fired back, telling Bear County deputies his aunt is a trans woman. The uh, sheriff took the side of the complainant. Simoncelli was arrested for giving a false report to a police officer. According to a police report, Joan gave a false statement to deputies that her nephew threatened her. But what happens next is what community organizer Sofia Sepulveda calls harassment. They put an intersex woman in a male cell and continue further the abuse by calling her derogatory homophobic names. Sepulveda is asking the sheriff's office to take sensitivity training with the LGBTQ community. Simoncelli is in court fighting the charge. Justice for Joan! Justice for Joan! It seems like to me that the sheriff's department should be able to deal with this type of situation and not put my client in a situation she shouldn't be in. The Bear County Sheriff's Office tells Kens 5 in part of a statement, preliminarily it appears she was treated in compliance with state jail standards. A complaint has been filed and an investigation into the charge. It Wait, so being called homophobic slurs is in compliance with jail standards? Wow, sounds like jail standards need to be reformed. What a, what a weird situation. If your standards are so low that this type of shit is allowed, then maybe the standards don't need to be the standards that we have currently. Is ongoing. Troy Kless, Ken's Five. So, that was a thing. And it was literally the worst thing. Maybe not the worst thing we've talked about today, but I'd say it's pretty fucking high up there. You don't reform the officers, you reform the protocols. You fire the officers, and then you bring new officers in under the new protocols to be trained under the new protocols. We're done with this, oh, just reform the police. No, 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 fire the police. Get rid of them, bring in new law enforcement officers, and try again. Harassment, definitely within protocol. You can't have a functioning society that does not have some type of law enforcement system. And we are diluted to the nth degree if we believe that we can operate without one. So we need to find a way to make our justice system work for us, not against us. Can you imagine if somebody, like, somebody's trans, assigned male at birth, they've had vaginoplasty, they're completely, they're, they're different physically, they're on hormones, everything. And then you take them to a jail cell, and they try to throw them in the men's jail. The fuck? The, the hell? Some sheriff thinks they're above the federal government. Yeah, a lot of people in law enforcement believe that they are above the book they're supposed to be utilizing. This is someone whose identity, whose, whose literal state ID said female, and they were just like, eh, throw them in with the men. That just, this is gross. We need ways to make sure that shit like this does not happen. Because this is insane. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired is what I am. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that other stuff, and I don't know. Incident to video tagline here.